people. This kind of confirms why people say it starts in your mind first and why people say like you need to sh change your mindset in order to achieve your goals. It's because the mental plane and the physical plane correspond with each other. So they both change at the same time. I can never get it when I'm on the ground. You can never get it when you pull me down. Even when I fall, let's be open now. Something about the space that I honor now. Something about the race of the richest town. Something about this place falling down. I don't wanna glow up just to watch you drown. This ain't Holly Choco, we in fighting now. Hey, it's Zana. So, the law of correspondence, this is another hermetic principle from the Kabbalion that I'm going to break down for you. I am going to be doing all seven, so this is the second one that I'm doing, and I will have links to the playlist of all of the other videos so you can watch them. They're in the description box below. But let's go straight into the law of correspondence, and this law states that as above, so below. So I will link a video down below to Young Pharaoh, who is amazing. We did a video with him on our podcast, Validate Me, that I do with my best friend. So I will also link that down below too if you want to check that out. But he fully breaks down the science of it. Like he is fucking, I don't know how he remembers all of this information off the back of his hand. Is that the right phrase? <laughs> he just remembers so much of the facts. So I will link that video down below, but he fully breaks down the sacred geometry um, of how the universe, like how consciousness came into being and how it then formed into matter. So that's how we have this physical reality that we have. And it's all based upon sacred geometry, which is also the tree of life. And I will link that video down below because I'm not gonna claim to know and remember all of this information. like. He fully goes into detail with it. But as above, so below, meaning what happens on one plane also happens on them all. It doesn't just happen in the physical reality. So like if something happens on the physical, it also happens on the other plane. So it happens on the mental plane. It also happens on the spiritual plane, as above, so below. And this is a law of the universe. And it's just basically explaining and letting you know how the universe works. So then once you understand it, because you are the universe, like you are a fractal of it, you are pure consciousness. So once you understand how it works, you can then use that to your advantage to create your abundance on earth, you know? It's how you can then transform your life. So that's why I'm creating these videos because I want to share this information and like you can be spending fucking forever learning this information. Honestly, once you start down this rabbit hole, you do not stop. <laughs> so yeah, I will link his video, Young Farrah's video down below because he fully goes into the science behind it. I know some people prefer to have the scientific proof. So that video will be down below. But what it states is, is that as above, so below. And there are different planes. So there's the physical plane, which is the earthly realm. That's what we see, um, where you can like touch things and stuff. And obviously they have proven that that's a hologram, but we're not gonna go into that for this video. There's also the spiritual plane, you know, spirit, and also the um, mental plane, which is consciousness, that is your mind, you know? So in Young Farah's video, he says that the universe with sacred geometry, it started out as the shape of a viscapiscus, and if you cut open fruit, you'll see that same shape, and also on animals and on women and humans, you'll see that same shape too in their bodies. So like, it's basically saying, as above, so below, that because the universe started out as that, it also exists in us as humans because we are fractals of it, you know? So it's saying like, in the bigger picture, something is there and it's also in the smaller picture. You can't have it in the big picture without it being in the small and you can't have it in the small without it being in the big because it's all connected. It's a bit like when we talk about in our Validate Me podcast about the fractal code and how um, everything's entangled, is it entanglement? That literally is what it's saying. It's saying as above, so below. Like it's in one thing so it's in the other and it's it's connected so when we also talk about astrology and the solar system like how that represents a part of us as humans you know it's as above and below so if humans are the below because we're in a human experience it's one of the lower planes of existence you know it's one of the lower planes of human conscious of human consciousness it's one of the lesser planes of consciousness because obviously consciousness vibrates at such a high frequency but 
in a human experience we're at a much denser much lower frequency like there's only so high we can vibrate and reach mentally because we're restricted by the five senses and the human ego you know so we can only get to a certain level while restricted inside this human vessel so the human plane and the human level of existence is a much lower level of consciousness than say god because God is all that there is, you know, but it's also not restricted. It's pure information and pure consciousness. So it's not restricted by a human vessel. So when you think about the solar system being something that's a part of the universe, but something that we consider as huge and external from the human experience and from us, like we, we picture these planets as such a huge thing that they're completely separate from us and that they're more powerful than us. But remember, like it's saying as above, so below. So these planets are above something that's bigger than us while restricted in this human experience and in this human vessel but also it's reflected in us so it's the chakras which represents our different emotional states different different energy centers within our being you know so it represents different aspects of our being while we're here in this human experience so our emotions and our personality so then when you understand that things happen on different planes of existence at the exact same time, it's just about how you perceive it, you know, because it's about elevating your level of consciousness to be able to perceive things from a higher level, from a higher mindset, you know, or from a freer mindset, maybe I should say. So another correspondence example would be the shape of a pentagram. So the five, that represents the four elements that create earth, the four elements that exist on earth. So fire, earth, air and water, as well as spirit. Spirit is the fifth one. But then as below, it would also represent the five human senses. So they all correspond, you know, it can mean different things based upon your perception level, you know, based upon your level of consciousness, you can see it as being one thing and then also representing another thing. So understanding all of these laws can really, really transform how you exist here in this physical reality because you have more of an understanding of who you are, how you work and as above how the universe works because you are a part of the universe, you know. So when you understand that things correspond, it also allows you to realise and internalise the fact that like if something is happening in the physical plane for you, so say you're experiencing some kind of situation, then you also understand based upon the law of correspondence that it's also happening on the mental plane and the spiritual plane, which means that you can then tap into that and be able to shift it. So like if some kind of negative experience is happening, you then understand that it's happening on the mental plane too. In order for it to be existing in the physical plane, it must be happening on the mental as well you know so that means that you can then take control of your reality you can go to the astral realm and shift things through your dream work like you can pay more attention to your dreams you can also meditate to pay attention to your mind and shift the mental plane as well so then the physical will correspond with that you know if you shift the mental plane the physical has to correspond because that's the law of correspondence and if you shift the physical plane the mental has to correspond like you can't shift one without the other they have to both be shifting because they correspond they're entangled they're attached so I hope this video makes sense I feel like I've kind of jumped all over the place because for me it's like it's hard for me to like put things into words. I mean, I say this all the time, but Pisces and Mercury is really the worst kind of placement. <laughs> and I'm trying to um, transcend that. But basically it's just telling you that everything happens on different dimensions, different planes, all at the same time. And you can shift the mental to shift the physical. This kind of confirms why people say it starts in your mind first and why people say like you need to sh change your mindset in order to achieve your goals it's because the mental plane and the physical plane correspond with each other so they both change at the same time they're both evolving at the same time as well as the spiritual plane all all planes of existence are all happening in the same space at the same time you know they're not separate it's not something like when people say to um move to a different dimension it's not physically moving you're not moving anywhere your mind is moving okay because the mental plane is the bridge between spirit and human it's the bridge between the two so in order to 
hear more of spirit which is your heart which is love in order to hear that you need to work on the mental plane and then that brings it back into the physical plane you know because it's like the bridge between the two so that's why everything is created in the mental because your conscious mind can access it you know and that's how you then access your subconscious mind which is in the spiritual that you cannot see in the physical but you use the mental to get to there you know and then you bring aspects of that spiritual so this is what you call do downloads you know channeled messages thoughts that just pop in your head out of nowhere and you're like oh my god that was so inspired and that's so amazing like yes that's really helpful I'm so glad I had that thought like damn this idea is amazing where did that come from why didn't I think of this before you know and it's because you've allowed your conscious mind to access information that's hidden in the subconscious which is in the spiritual plane you know you've managed to bring that down into the mental down into your mind and now you can then use that mind that mental information to manifest things on the physical plane to create things in the physical plane so it's just a way of understanding you know it's just a tool and like an idea to help you understand how you work and how your mind works and how you can then bring things and manifest your natural state of abundance which is spirit you can manifest that into the physical so I hope this was helpful and as I did with the last videos talking about the first hermetic principle of mentalism, I ended up making two videos because I watched the first one back and was like, wait, wait a second, like I can go way deeper than that. So I may watch this one back and then decide to do a part two, but you will know based upon this title of this video. But anyway, I'm rambling now. So thank you so much for watching. All links to my social media and music will be in the description box below. And make sure you comment below if you have any video topics and ideas that you want me to talk about. My DMs on Instagram are always open too. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already and hit the notification bell because there's three videos every week. So you wanna know when I upload. But yeah. Thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. And I will see you in the next video. Bye. I need a man that will hold me down. If he a yes man, I ain't keeping him around. I need a